What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about three different looks that you can do with your second day hair, your dirty hair, maybe it's your three day hair, maybe it's your four day hair, no judging. But three looks that I do on a regular basis when my hair is too dirty to be worn down but you don't want, you know, this. Okay, so what you're going to need today is a brush, a comb if you can find one, a clip, and some little elastics. So the first one we're going to do is a braided headband, which my friends and husband would tell you I do all the time, even when it's not dirty, even to weddings. It's just one of my, uh, one of my signature looks, I'd say. So we're going to start by getting one half out of your face and then grabbing a section of hair from the front and divide it into three sections like you would a traditional braid. And then start by crossing the back over the center and then the front over the center as well to start a traditional braid. But then what you wanna do is take these two sections of the back and hold them together and then hold this one and then it's gonna become a fishtail braid. So now you have two sections for a fishtail braid. So you take a small section from your back and bring it to your front. And you take a small section from the front and bring it to the back. Now you take a small section from the back and bring it to the front and a small section from the front and bring it to the back and you're just going to continue like that down your hair. Now if you can what you want to do is to hold your hair going back towards your head because if you pull the braid really forward while you braid it's going to really make your hair want to pull that way when you let go of it. So if you're pulling it this way toward the way you want it to go it'll make it a lot easier for it to flow back. So at about this section, when you have about an inch worth of braid happening, is when you're going to want to pull it out a little bit so it's not so tight. You just grab your pieces and just loosen them a little. You're going to want to do that throughout the braiding process instead of all at the very end so that when you get to the bottom, you're not pulling too hard and giving yourself flyaways. It still looks smooth. So once you've finished the braid, it should look like this. Fishtails are a bit messy. That's good, that's okay. So you're gonna wanna take that piece and secure it with an elastic. Okay, and you're gonna leave it there. Take your next section down and repeat. Okay, so once you're done that braid, you're going to take another little elastic and you're going to secure it as well. And then once your hair is in little elastics, you can go back in and loosen some more if you want to. Okay, so this is what you should look like right now. A little crazy. And let your hair down and brush it. And then take the two pieces and wrap them around the back. So once you know for sure that they're going to meet each other, like that, you can take the two elastics out that you currently have in and get another one ready to secure them together. So take an elastic, grab your hair, And then when you find where you want it, like that, what I like to do when I know where I'm going to secure it is to lift it up like this. Because if you secure it behind your head, you can catch hair from the back of your head in there and it can look messy. So if you secure it away from that, you can put the elastic in, 
And then you just flip it around like this. And then smush it down. And then you're left with this. The nice thing too about securing it in front of your head as opposed to behind it is if you do find that you get this happening throughout the day where pieces come up a little bit and that's not a look you're into, you can just take your braided headband, flip it forward again and smooth it out. And then flip it back. that's that one okay so the second style we're gonna do is what I call a braided mohawk going into a bun now if you can't braid you can still do this style you're just gonna skip the braid part and where I braid you just pull back into a ponytail and what you put into a bun so I have learned one trick to braiding your hair straight back because I never used to be able to do it I used to have to call my best friend every time I wanted to wear this style and she'd always oblige because she's the best but what you want to do is part your hair into your fake mohawk right here and then I find the easiest thing to do is take all the rest of your hair and to put it into a clip so it doesn't get in the way okay so once you have your hair ready brush it gonna seem like a really silly trick to do it and probably one you guys could figure out on your own but the reason I could never braid my hair straight back is because I could not make my brain understand braiding this way so what I had to do is not look in the mirror or in this case into the viewfinder to braid my hair and I just have to tell myself crossover metal crossover metal cross basically just like talk myself through the braid but I can't look in the mirror so it looks a little something like this you're going to want to start with your front section separated into three pieces, so middle, middle. And then for a typical French braid, you're going to pick up that next section and middle, and then same thing with this one, pick up the side section and middle up the next section and pull to the middle and repeating just till you're all the way down the length of your hair and then you can just braid the rest the loose off now you can pull this part out if you like a loose braid Want to get some volume? Okay, and then from here, you can either secure right here where you're going to put your bun and then make it normal bun, or you can make a braided bun. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, this next one's for you guys who can't do braids. I know not everybody likes them and not everybody can. Um, so this next one is sort of like a faux 50s rule. And it's one that I do when I'm in the biggest hurry. So a lot of mornings when I'm getting up at three and four in the morning to leave to do for a wedding and my hair is not looking as fresh as it was the day before, this is something I'll do really fast. So what you're gonna wanna do is give yourself a pretty deep side part. And then 
angling from the back, you're gonna grab a section from the front. So it's sort of like a triangle here, see? This section. So grabbing your triangle section, you're gonna pull it forward. And you're going to put your thumb back here and then sort of roll it around your thumb and just get that roll started like this. And then you're going to go in and loosen it. section out right here at your temple then you're going to take this next section here which is above your ear and you're going to twist it as well over top so that your hair has that look of being a roll all the way through so loosen that one a little bit you don't want so much volume at the side of your head twist that back and then put it just below where you put that other bobby pin It. And it doesn't matter if those bobby pins are super secure because we are going to be putting the hair up. So next you're going to take your hair tie, choosing whether you want to leave a little bit out right here or not to keep it soft. And then just gather all into a pony. Twist that around itself. And either secure with an elastic or with bobby pins. Like that. So it, this looks a bit of a 50s throwback, but then it's also a bit punky because you have these PC bits out at the front, so it keeps it modern. And this one is done in under two minutes, and you're out the door looking like you tried. So that's it for those three looks that you can do with 30 hair, second day hair, third day hair. Um, let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know if you guys try any. Uh, I can do another version of uh, this video where we try three more. I can also do uh, three that exclude braids at all if you're not somebody who's braid savvy. Or if you want to be braid savvy, let me know and I can do a video that goes over the different types of braids in depth so that you can learn how to braid and incorporate any of these styles we talked about. Okay guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.